my name is Michelle Jewsbury, and I am the founder of the nonprofit organization called Unsilenced Voices. We help survivors of domestic violence, sexual abuse, and human trafficking in four countries around the globe. First, it's a lot more work than you think. Oftentimes people start a nonprofit thinking it's going to be an easy task, thinking it won't take up some of your time, that you can spend a measly five hours a week doing the nonprofit. Well, if you want your nonprofit to be successful, you have to invest your time and energy. Invest it in a way that you want to invest in your business and in your future. Running a nonprofit is also like running a business, which leads me to step two. Run and operate the nonprofit as you would a for-profit business. The nonprofit still has managers and supervisors and staff. The nonprofit still has to be successful successful and reach our goals and have great ROI, run the nonprofit like a business. Number three, fundraising is key. So learn to get good at fundraising. The one thing that I've learned is that people like good and fun parties. So throw great parties because that attracts more investors to the nonprofit, that gives people a great time, and that makes people want to invest their time and energy in helping you. Number four, it's extremely rewarding to have have a nonprofit because you get to see your work paying off. You get to see what you've spent all of your time and energy doing working. I remember when I went to Africa in March of 2020 and I went to Sierra Leone and I got to meet with a lot of our girls that we've rescued from the sex work industry. We enroll them in vocational training and teach them a new skill, whether it's sewing or tie dye and gara, baking, hairdressing. But they learn a skill that they can sell instead of selling their bodies. And it is so incredibly rewarding to see that happen, that their lives being changed and changed forever. And the last thing that I want to talk about is you have to be vulnerable. So I began Unsilenced Voices because I'm a survivor of domestic violence. And I knew that my story mattered. And I now tell my story repeatedly over and over again, whether it's a, a podcast interview, a newspaper, whether it's on stage, off stage, whether it's on the news, you've got to learn to be able to tell your story in a vulnerable way very authentic so people understand your why, why you run the nonprofit organization, why it's so important to you, and why it's important to the people around you. For more information about Unsilenced Voices, please visit unsilencedvoices.org and please follow us on Instagram at Unsilenced Voices.